going on, everybody? This is Carlos, Dylan, Daryl with Generation H. H. Ah, so today I get this question probably four or five times a week. How or what is the best way to make money in real estate? And it can go either way. There's probably 10 different ways, but I'm going to just pick four and kind of break down each one of those four. So first one would be buy and hold. We all here have rental properties. You can buy and hold, keep it, create cash flow, equity, kind of like we talked in the last video, you can keep equity in the deal. Therefore, that equates to cash in the long run. Or you know, y'all want to elaborate on buy and hold and kind of different ways to make money on yes, buy and hold? I did want to. So yeah. for buy and hold, you could do, there's different in buy and hold. You could make money off appreciation, right? I was going to say, there's like four ways to make money yeah. just, just in buy and hold. hold. Then yeah. you could do cash flow. Yep. If you want to include depreciation tax write-offs, yep. I mean, I guess that's the way you're making money because you're not Well, you're saving government. money, yeah. which yeah. means yeah. you're making you're paying money. less. Yeah. 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 Um, and then principal pay down. Principal pay down, cash flow. I mean, yeah. yeah. And then from that, you can, as a buy and hold, there's multiple other ways within that to make money, right? Correct. You can do the short term, you can do midterm yeah. rentals, long term yeah. rentals, um, wh however you want to like put yeah. it out. I mean, you could do. Um, you could pull lines of credit and lend that money. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah. But there's then, there's just a ton of money just in that one. Just in that one yeah, category. That one investment. Yeah. yeah. Now step number two can wholesale assign contracts mm -hmm, to make yeah. money in real estate if you want to go out and search for properties kind of do some driving for dollars or something like that or your grandma or somebody you know is having a hard time or needs to sell you get it under contract and then turn around and come to one of us or anybody that buys real estate and you can assign the contract mm -hmm. for money yeah and it doesn't necessarily mean you can assign it for a lump sum I have an assignment deal that I did five years ago that I'm still getting paid on because I assigned it for a note for $200 a month. And oh. I get paid $200 a month for the last five years. And they're going to pay me for the next three more years because we did an eight-year note at 200 bucks a month. Yeah. Oh. So there's multiple that's an ways. That's great. Yeah, that's an interesting way to, yeah. to almost have a rental but without actually having the toilets or the tenant. Yeah. yeah. With no money into it. With right? no money, no in. money yeah. into it. It's just it, yeah. the assignment. And yeah. I even made a lump sum too because it was a $25,000 assignment fee. He paid me 10000 assignment when we closed and then the other fifteen was broke out over uh -huh. the next eight years. So you're in second position. On Correct. Okay. I am in second position, which is yeah. eh, not the greatest, but at you're the same getting time, your money. It's for free. five years, yeah. he yeah. has paid every single month. So far, 60 <laughs> months, 200 yeah. bucks a month. Yeah. So he's paid me $12,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Plus the 10 I got when I first assigned it. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Cool. So wholesaling. Um, yeah. So the first one did require some money. Correct. Buy and hold can go either way. Yeah. It can either require some money or a perfect burr. You don't have a whole lot yeah. of money. Yeah. And then the second one requires little to no money yeah. unless yeah. you want to go buy bandit signs, stuff like that to acquire the deals. Yeah, yeah. But it could be zero dollars out of pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then I would say the third way is probably going to require a little skill and probably a little money with flipping a property. So you're actually yeah. going to have to close on it. You're actually going to have to either one, go to a bank and get a loan for it or go to a hard money lender or so forth mm -hmm. to acquire that property. Yeah. And then once you make improvements to the property, now you sell it for a higher value to make more money. Yeah. yeah and you yeah. got to manage the contractors too, know how to manage a team. Correct. So, yeah. 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 so I would say out of these three examples so far, they all have different levels of involvement mm -hmm. because yeah. Buy and hold is a certain amount of involvement. A flip requires a lot of involvement. You need yeah, to be there active. every couple of days to make sure people are doing what they need to do. Yeah. And you're kind of on a time schedule when you're flipping a house because you're either paying hard money lender a lot of interest the longer you go, or you have a lot of your money tied up for X amount of time. Yeah, yeah. So. So I would say, what did it pat, die? It did die. I don't. Die. I don't. It probably just goes. I'm sure the, they can. Yeah. Let yeah. me uh, just a plug. <laughs> keep going yeah so it, it all different levels of involvement i mean yeah. depending on where you're at in your career like are you full-time real estate yeah. are you full-time working at a job and now you just want to do this on the side yeah you could probably add to that like if you don't have money uh but you're trying to figure it out or have some construction experience you could probably 
help project manage and you for could. a flipper you could. and make a little bit of money and then also get the experience of like, oh, okay, so how's it working? Yes. Cool. The lender comes in once a month, walks the property. Yep. I met the plumber, I met the electrician, whatever, yep. and you're helping. Because yeah. there are some flippers that have a ton of properties or projects going on Correct. at the time. And they would... Yeah. Or you're on the other them. side of the spectrum. you got a full-time job working 60 hours a week. Yeah. You hire a project manager yeah. to come in and do the whole flip for you. And now yeah. you just make the money at the end yeah. and hope that they either did it right or you kind of have to in, distill some trust yeah, yeah. in what they're doing and everything. Yeah. All the contractors are doing. Yeah. Okay. So we have uh, rentals. Yep. Right. Then we have wholesaling. Yep. We have flipping. Yep. And then the fourth one just requires money doesn't require a whole lot of time you can be the investor or the hard money lender and you don't have to have a hundred thousand dollars to do this you can have say. twenty thousand ten thousand i don't 000. have one hundred fifty thousand yeah, dollars. but you can turn around and you have ten thousand and dylan has ten thousand mm -hmm. what if my project like the house that you did a couple of weeks ago that we talked about mm -hmm. how you only spent fifteen thousand on the renovation yeah. bam your ten and your ten gets twenty thousand to do that fifteen twenty thousand dollar renovation yeah, yeah. and now you just collect interest on your money and your money makes you money at that point so now yeah. you're little to no involvement at all you just type up a deed or a note of, a deed of trust or a note on that property and bam you loan that money for someone like us that's yeah. coming in and flipping it mm -hmm. or we might be buying and holding it and you t filled in a piece to our buy and hold project mm -hmm. so yeah and another thing if Carlos only has 10,000 it does require networking and knowing the right people but correct he has ten thousand dollars you could borrow from me ninety thousand if I have more money and yes. then lend a hundred thousand to you exactly but I'm he's borrowing from me at eight percent but lending to you at twelve percent so he's making a spread correct. on what he's borrowing yeah. From yeah. Me too. so then I'm getting interest and I'm getting, exactly yeah, and points. to do that you had little involvement just yeah. a matter of knowing Dylan you guys have been buddies for years and turned around and both of y'all are making money now yeah. by yeah. doing absolutely nothing to that house yeah mm -hmm. you yeah. walk you probably walked it I would suggest walking it but other than that you didn't do anything to the house you didn't yeah. hire a contractor you didn't have to go to the closing you didn't have to do any of that yeah stuff. Um, would you suggest like what would you suggest to get a little bit more comfortable because that can be daunting for somebody who doesn't know much about I agree um, I don't know being an investor or flipper yeah. I mean, there's horror stories of like contractors running off on money and investors being high and dry, and then obviously like the money people are high and dry, and it gets yeah. figured out. But like, what due diligence or what what can so I think due diligence wise, you really need to the first deal you do, you need to kind of trust the person. You need to walk some of their previous jobs. You need to kind of let them show you what they have accomplished and what they've done. Don't yeah. just loan money to a guy that you think has done deals and turns around, this is his second deal he's ever done. I mm -hmm. probably wouldn't loan him all of your money. Yeah. I mean, and now if, if the you, deal was really good. If the deal is really good, then that's a different story because yeah. you got a little wiggle room to, if he does fail or a contractor runs off with the money, at least you know you could take the house over and still be able to yeah. do it. What, what you could do um, to add to that is, if say you're, I'm lending you the yep. entire amount, we're wrapping the money, but yep. we don't know that much about real estate. Yep. But we believe that you know have continuously doing. done projects and you're good at them, right? But yep. we don't know about real estate. I I probably even suggest the lenders yep. maybe going out and asking for an appraisal. Agreed. Right? So like, yes. hey, Mr. Appraiser, we're going to be lending money to this guy, but we want to see what do you think it's going to be valued once he's done? Correct. Right? Daryl's gonna tell you everything he's gonna do. Apparently, yep. something with bathrooms and the roof and the whatever. Can you just go through the house, look at the comps, and let us what? Because we're not yes. agents, we don't know how to look this stuff yep. up. Can you just tell us what you think is gonna be valued after the fact? Yeah. And then they come back with a report, and it's like Daryl got it for a hundred, and it's gonna be worth three fifty when he's done, and he only wants from us a hundred and fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. No brainer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll give it to you. Yeah. So like, and that's. With us just having the money knowledge yep. and then just like tag teaming people in yes. to your point it, to, to like make it work and make me feel more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. And even to fine tune that a little more, you can release the funds in draws mm -hmm. to where after you've seen the work get done mm -hmm. and they take the pictures and have the flipper or the contractor come out of pocket for these things. Yeah. And then you reimburse them mm -hmm. to where 
Yeah. The work is done, and now you're paying for it. Yeah. So then yeah. they're not running off with the funds, or they're not saying, yeah. "Hey, I need twenty thousand and then turns around, they use that twenty thousand to go buy another house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least you know that work is done, and now you've paid them. Yeah. 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 So, That's but awesome. yeah, so all four of those ways yeah. are ways to make money in real estate, and I feel like all four of them probably have four inside of them ways oh, yeah. to make Easy. money. Yeah. Easy. So and there's yeah. probably like ten others that are just so creative that we're not even thinking about yeah. oh there's yeah there's 10 <laughs> other ways to make money in real estate but those are the four like main, main ones yeah, yeah for sure yeah. that we deal with all the time we're always dealing with wholesalers buy holds all the flips time. and then lenders mm -hmm. yeah all day so. if you don't if you if you haven't met that trifecta or the quad like the, the oh, yeah. that square you're that's probably why you're not doing you're probably a deal, not doing you don't a deal. feel comfortable yeah. to do a deal yet until mm -hmm. you have those four yeah so please like comment leave us comments in the description because yeah. we'd love to help you get started in real estate because a lot of people sit on the sidelines and over analyze and over analyze it's not that difficult if you have money and you want to invest connect with one of us yeah. and we will help you get the funds to invest in something or help you find something to start your own real estate investing. Yeah, if you uh, if you have number, number five, because we listed four, yep. if you have a fifth one or a sixth one, just put it down at the bottom and yeah. maybe we'll do another video of like five, five more through eight. Yeah, yeah, five through eight. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> no joke, I guarantee there's probably five through 15 if yeah. you really break it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, there's so, so many, many ways, more. so many ways. Yeah, so sweet, well, Thanks, everybody. And Dylan, Carlos, we're out. Generation, Generation H. H.